Hello, this is Nagarajan working as an assistant professor in the department of uh, electrical and electronics engineering in MAM school of engineering uh, created by NAC, approved by AACT, New Delhi and uh, affiliated to Anna University Chennai. So uh, in this uh, class we are going to discuss about the filter photometer okay filter photometer so what is this filter photometer and how it can be related to the previous topic okay that is calorimeter filter photometer and calorimeter is more or less same okay in calorimeter we studied about the single beam in calorimeter we studied using the single beam so this is the single beam okay this is a single beam of light okay whereas in case of uh, flame photometer we are going to study double beam okay this is the flame photometer and uh, we, are we are going to study using this double beam okay so again the components are same Okay, here also we are having a uh, white light source. Okay, in this white light source, all the colors are combined, as he said earlier. White is the combination of all colors. Okay, and that white light source is filtered. Filtered in the sense, uh, there were, there will be many unwanted uh, uh, lights for our experiment. Keep in mind, all the colors are wanted, but for our experiment, only few colors are required. Okay, so remaining colors we have to eliminate because if remaining colors passes through our sample solution, then it will create some uh, error. Therefore, filters are placed. Okay, and after the filter, there is a lens. Okay, after the filter there is a lens so what is the role of this lens this uh, the role of the lens is to make the scattered light rays into a narrow beam okay scattered light rays into a narrow beam focusing on the cells focusing on the cells what cell is there it is a photocell okay or in some cases there may be some uh, photo uh, that is uh, uh, it can be an LDR also okay so there are two cells one is reference cell and another one is sample cell okay reference cell and sample cell you see the CF CREF is the reference cell and the CS is the sample cell okay so in between the lens and the cell we have placed our sample solution in between the uh, cell and the lens we placed our sample solution so in this uh, here there is no solution because this is our reference and this is our sample where we are going to measure the um, where we are going to measure the ions present in our sample okay so uh, now let us uh, see another uh, component present in this is galvanometer galvanometer what is the use of this galvanometer the role of the galvanometer is to nullify this bridge okay this apparatus is looking like a bridge circuit because this is one resistance uh, um, cell this is another resistive cell and this is the potentiometer okay by adjusting this potentiometer we can nullify this uh, we can make neutral okay we can make neutral of all this bridge circuit okay so how we can come to a conclusion that the circuit is uh, um, neutralized 
it can be done by bringing the galvanometer to zero value okay bringing the galvanometer to zero value okay now let us perform the experiment okay so first uh, we are uh, placing our sample solution and there uh, we are switching on the light okay and the light scatters it uh, it starts emitting the white light and the filter uh, filters the light which we are required and that is alone uh, allowed through this filter and remaining lights will be reflected okay and that light is focused to the cell focused to the cell using this lens okay so this uh, this ldr okay we can take that one as an ldr itself okay that ldr is nothing but light dependent resistor okay so that ldr will be uh, will will produce an uh, uh, minimum resistance will produce the minimum resistance okay in this uh, as i said earlier uh, the reference cell will have the uh, maximum resistance okay the reference cell will have the maximum resistance when uh, light incident when the when the light uh, does not incident on the cell okay the, uh, the property of the ldr is when there is more amount of light okay the ldr will have the maximum resistance okay and when the light reduces the ldr will uh, uh, the red, uh, light uh, the resistance of the ldr will come down okay so similarly in the reference we have the maximum resistance and the more current will flow in the circuit okay and here also because here the sample is there right so this sample will change the uh, light incident on this uh, sample cell therefore this will have some amount of uh, this will have the these two cells will have different resistance these two cells will have different resistance therefore the bridge will get imbalanced okay so now we are change we are uh, um, doing some uh, modifications and we are uh, making the circuit to uh, neutral uh, by changing this potentiometer value okay so by changing this potentiometer value the galvanometer starts reducing and at some in and some uh, uh, point it will become zero so that zero point will be the value okay that uh, point will be compared with the previous value previous value in the sense before the sample is placed okay so the change in value between the uh, normal circuit that is normal uh, value and the uh, reading taken after the sample has placed that gives the uh, the value of uh, the sample solution ionic concentration of the sample solution okay so now just a moment let me go to the so that is what whatever is discussed is given in this uh, theory portion okay so after taking all the readings okay then we can remove the sample solution and make the circuit again zero because if this is not done then uh, when we place the other sample circuit that will show some uh, constant value okay there will be some constant value in the cell and uh, that is in the system and that will create an error okay so after every calculations after every uh, experiment the system has to be calibrated in order to make in order to ensure in order to uh, make the uh, reading to the correct value okay hope uh, you all understood about this uh, flame photometer uh, sorry filter photometer in the next class we will be discussing about the flame photometer and uh, thank you